How can she drop dead? You said she was frozen. Technically, she's in a state of metabolic stasis. Aging slowed considerably, yes, but not entirely suspended. What are you saying? The city didn't rise the first time around? No. We're underwater. I'd say we're under several hundred feet of ocean. This could be a problem. The city has a shield, some sort of uh, energy force field holding the water back. That is, it had a shield. Power systems are nearing maximum entropy. Our arrival hastened their depletion big time. Colonel Sumner drowned? And he wasn't the only one to perish. Two piers of the city are almost entirely flooded. A third about to collapse as well. Dr. Weir, these ships look like a good fallback. They can hold several people each. What's wrong? The city's going into a last gas self-protect mode. Airtight bulkheads are slamming shuttle over the city. We've got people trapped. Wouldn't that protect them? It's too little, too late. Most of the rooms are already breached. We've got people trapped with water rising. What was that? Bulkhead doors leading out of the control room wall slammed shut. We're locked in. Can you get it open? I'm trying. Get them open and get up here. We're waiting for you. Elizabeth, we're going to keep trying to retract the roof. As soon as it opens, you go. Rodney. Look, there's no time to argue. Catastrophic failure is imminent. Just lock yourself in and go. Despite your efforts, there was nothing we could do, Rodney. Within seconds, the control room was flooded. I died? So Wait I a second. Why didn't the fail-safe mechanism engage and raise the city to the surface? Because there was no fail-safe the first time. Well, it's obvious. Uh, the puddle jumper they escaped in must have been some sort of a time machine. It had to have an additional component built into it. Flux capacitor. Yeah. Question is, where's the time machine now? It's gone. at us. The better question is how do we shoot back? <laughs> Did I do that? Hang on! The next thing I knew, I woke up here. He explained to me that the ship we had escaped in was a time machine. He was the one who built it. After I was feeling better, he brought me before the Atlantean Council. We welcome you to the city of Atlantis. Thank you. Unfortunately, your arrival has come at a time of great conflict. We've been under siege for many years and have submerged our city as a measure of protection. Yes, it's extraordinary. It's how we found the city when we came through the Stargate. From Earth? Yes. 10,000 years from now. It should be noted that our actions have succeeded in protecting the city for so many years. Oh, the Council. They were very upset. Yes, you said they decided to destroy the time machine. I tried to talk them out of it. I couldn't give up hope. Thankfully, I had an ally. You need to talk to Moros. Dr. Weir was brought here through no fault of her own. She shouldn't be punished for it. She's free to come with us back to Earth and live among our... She needs to return to her time, not remain in ours. And began my long journey home. It worked.